Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to another round of candle reviews. Holy moly, I think I am nearing the end of the fall pile. <laughs> Just in time because the holiday candles have been coming in, which I know it's, it's too soon for a lot of you. Um, we have not even had Halloween quite yet, but it's gonna be here in no time. Um, speaking of Halloween, guess what we have? We have a Halloween candle review. <laughs> this is Spooky Vanilla from Homeworks. And let me tell you, this is a candle that took forever to become available. <laughs> Homeworks put it on their website um, and listed it as sold out, which by the way, if you ever see that um, on a new candle, it's not sold out. They are just basically putting a placeholder on their website. Um, it should probably read coming soon instead of sold out, but I don't know, maybe that isn't an option with the, the website that they are using. I'm not sure, but at any rate, I was waiting for a really long time for this one to come out because I was intrigued by the fragrance notes. As you guys know, I am a basic vanilla girl at heart. It really... It really is one of my favorite just basic fragrances. Just vanilla, plain and simple, makes me happy. It's boring and uh, simple, but it's just, it's a great thing to light when you don't know what you're in the mood for. So while I am not the Halloween person that a lot of you guys are, um, the, the label's cute. I mean, I do think it's a very cute label. Um, I could have peeled the label off of this and nothing about it would have screamed Halloween to me. So uh, this I think would be a, a really lovely scent year round. <laughs> I think it would also be a great scent to have as a blender candle. However, it, it, it is this review will not be without um, some constructive feedback. <laughs> if I have it, I will give it and um, we'll get to that. But I wanted to let you guys know that this one does come with the black lid. Um, it is that um, cheaper tin lid that we've become accustomed to now. But one thing I want to point out is we have seen these lids before. Um, there have been several special collections that Homeworks has released over the last couple of years that have used this specific um, material for the lids. So I'm thinking the farm stand collection, I'm thinking some of the other like, gosh, I can't remember now. There was like a collection a few years ago where I know for sure that they had a lid very similar to this. Sorry, I, I'm blanking on the, on the names of the collections at this very moment, but um, yeah. We, we have seen these lids before. I, I think at this point going forward, honestly, they're gonna be a permanent part of just the Homeworks candles. <laughs> I think it was probably a way to um, potentially cut some costs, I'm not sure. But at any rate, um, it does make it harder to stack the candles. Um, I won't deny that. But for me, I just have been using my old lids and using those um, on the newer candles when I put them out to display or burn, if you will. So yeah, at any rate, um, the, you know, I just, I thought I'd let you know. <laughs> it has, it has the cheaper lid. Okay, so our fragrance notes here. Vanilla, caramel, dark woods, and musk. I was really curious about the dark woods note in this and how that would come across. But either fortunately or unfortunately, I don't really get m much in the way of woodiness at all, either dark, light, or medium wood. There's, I don't smell wood. <laughs> There's nothing remotely woody about this fragrance to me at all. But what I do smell is a pretty good basic gourmand vanilla. I think it starts to lean a little bit more borderline French vanilla than like vanilla bean. And I have a preference. I prefer vanilla bean. <laughs> French vanilla, I think smells a little bit more artificial, but this smells like a French vanilla that is not quite so artificial. So I, I will take this particular French vanilla, <laughs> but um, I do have a personal preference towards more of a vanilla bean. 
Um, and uh, yeah, that's just, that's something that I look for when I am purchasing candles is that it has the right type of vanilla note for me. Um, the caramel also made me a little bit nervous. As I've mentioned before, Harry is very fond of adding caramel to a lot of different fragrances. And I think if you're a caramel person, you would love a lot of Homeworks fragrances. <laughs> Some of the candles that have the caramel, it's too much for me. It comes across as a little cloying. And there's other blends that Harry comes out with where he puts caramel in them. And it is really lovely, actually. And I like it. Um, luckily, here in this particular one, it is caramel done right. It smells maybe a little bit like a Werther's original type of like caramel, maybe borderline toffee note to my nose. Yeah, it, it doesn't smell like, um, like the caramel that you would get on like a caramel apple, if that make, makes sense. Um, and it's not, it's not cloying. It's not, too sweet it's not oppressive at all it's it's actually again an enjoyable caramel so I'm gonna give it for that musk I do get just a slight hint of maybe like a sweet musk to this um, but I will say I think the majority of this fragrance profile revolves around the borderline French vanilla and caramel note um, maybe Maybe there's something wrong with my nose, but I'm just not picking up any type of woodiness at all from this. So the fragrance overall, I'm definitely going to give a thumbs up to. Um, it's the performance with this one that I'm having some struggles with. And so here's where we're going to go into the constructive feedback. Um, the strength and the throw are both just about like a Definitely a solid five, leaning towards five and a half at points in the candle. Um, actually, this was kind of a strange one because usually when I first light a Homeworks candle, that is when I tend to personally get the most amount of fragrance out of a candle from Homeworks. And then as I go down, the scent depletes just a little bit. Um, this one, I feel like when I first burned it, I was struggling to smell it but it picked up um i would say after probably the second burn is when i could really start smelling it more um i have been burning this in both the entryway as well as my family room just to kind of try it in a couple different areas and um it's more of a one room candle that i don't get like a ton of traveling out of this it smells good in the room where I have it, but it is not something that you would walk in and immediately be like, what's that candle that's burning? You know, it's more, it's more of like a soft, like kind of inviting type of fragrance, not a smack you in the face, sweet, um, typical gourmand type of scent. Now, if you are someone who is sensitive to fragrance, um, this might be a great option for you because it's probably not going to give you a migraine certainly doesn't give me one and it's enjoyable but don't buy this thinking that it's going to um rock your world in terms of strength of strength and throw it's it's probably not um so there's that one other thing i want to mention and i'm going to go ahead and come behind the camera here and lift you guys up so she's not getting sooty but these wicks, for whatever reason, get long really fast. I just trim them. And I think it's because this candle burns just a little bit hotter than most potentially. Sorry, I need to set you back down here. Um, I think this candle burns hotter than most and faster than most. I've noticed that I've been going through this scent really quickly. The wicks get long fast, and if you don't watch it, they could potentially fall over if you get a super deep wax pool because they do get a little bit top heavy, obviously. And um, there was one day where I burned this, I think, for like four and a half, five hours, 
and I walked in and realized what I did and immediately extinguished it and then stood the wicks back up. Um, luckily, it hadn't gotten a complete wax pool <laughs> and um, I was able to stand everything back up and put it where it belongs. And then subsequent burns, I've been a little bit more uh, strict about the burn time. I burn this one for no more than two hours and I feel like that's enough. You know, I certainly get uh, an enjoyable fragrance out of it during those two hours, but if I let it go any longer, it the wax pool just gets too deep and um, it's, it's gonna start causing problems. So I know none of us like babysitting candles and it's not something that we want to be doing, but I think, you know, if you have a candle that you're struggling with, there, there are ways to correct it most times. Sometimes a candle is just a loss, right? But for the most part, there are ways to correct the burn a lot of times. And I think if you're noticing that your wicks are getting really long, you might want to consider burning that particular scent less for each session that you're using it. And you can probably, um, you know, get a better experience with the candle that way. D is it a bummer to have to limit your burn? It, it might be for some. For me, I just light another candle. <laughs> I, I decorate with candles around my house. So as soon as I blow one set of candles out, um, I get out my fancy little lighter and I walk over to two other candles that haven't been burning that day and I light those and I move forward. So anyway, I wanted to get this um, last Halloween review up for you guys. Um, I, I didn't really purchase many of the Halloween candles this year. Like I said, it's not really my thing, but this particular one intrigued me because of the fragrance notes. And the label is, I think, just kind of pretty and neutral. Honestly, it doesn't look super spooky to me. It just looks like a slightly foggy um, evening in the fall with a full moon. So um, if he would have just named it Nighttime Vanilla, I, I think that would have been great for me. <laughs> It doesn't need to be a Halloween candle in my case. Let me know what your thoughts and your experiences are with Spooky Vanilla in the comments down below. Um, I have another review coming up here in a little while and it's from a Bath & Body Works candle. So if you're interested, make sure that you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and supporting my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.